Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it is really lovely to have you here this morning. So it's the start of a new week, it's Monday and it's the start of a new project. Um, so this is my first project on the Design Team 14 at Shabby Dabby Doo and today um, I'm going to be doing a few um, this month but today I'm working with the um, Paris Bouquet kit and it is 11 pages. Um, background pages I guess you'd call them but it's very it's very me it's got all the pinks that I love and it's got some beautiful um you know buildings and architecture and things in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a journal with it a single signature journal I'll just quickly show you the pages um but there will be a link to this kit in Tina's Etsy shop should you want me doing the right way so I've put them how I want them I think Although there are things going to, going to be going in between them. Yeah, in my description, <laughs> the link will be. It's a beautiful photograph here of this lady. As with all the um, the digitals that I show on, on camera, they, I feel they're always much nicer in, in real life than they are, you know, on film. Depending very much on, you know, how good my camera is. It's not too bad, but it's still... You know, they're a lot more pink than they appear to me in this in this viewfinder. And um, of course, it depends what you're watching it on too. OK, so I, there, there are 11 pages. I've just got 10 there because I wanted them back to back. And I could have done another one of those plain ones, um, you know, with the 11th page. But I'm, I'm going to put some of my pages in as well, um, just so it's got some journaling. You know, should you wish to or whoever owns it wish to journal and not write on all the beautiful pages which I know a lot of people um don't don't want to do so I've got a ready made well a partly made cover I think I said to you um yesterday that I've got lots of covers ready to go um you probably saw me make this one I don't know I did just cover envelopes with fabric and stitch around them and I just thought this it's it's pinks and greens and creams but with a, a bar a darker a black background um i thought it went really well with this when i saw it because you know there are dark dark bits on the um the architecture and the lamps and the, the print and what have you um, and yeah it's got that lovely pink so and then it's going to leave me room to use laces and things um on the cover as well so some of these laces will go on the cover some of these laces will go on the page edges um what i'm going to do i'm going to show you everything and then i'm going to stop and trim it down and um, stitch some lace on the pages and then I'll come back and um, we'll, we'll sew the book together. Okay, so just a, a handful of laces um, that you've seen. It's just plain inside. Now, what was I going to do inside? Yes, I'm going to put a book plate on it <laughs> before I forget and lose it. Um, I've got this snippet roll still that I've been cutting into. Um, I'm surprised it's lasted this long actually, but it has. Um, and I thought I might in this one, because I can do it, stitch it in before i don't know what piece is exactly but i thought i might make a couple of side tuck pockets one front and one back um in it like that i've got threads everywhere um, and that will that will be it because it can have some lovely lovely um, ephemera and things in there so i think what i will do is i will stitch that um on there i'll put the book plate on first yeah because that will be hidden behind there won't it so I'll just pop this book plate on uh, stitch that round but first of all I'm going to cut my um this will look some of this will be on the pages some of it will go on the front of here as well first of all I'm going to cut my pages down so let me show you the rest of my pages and then I'll get on and do that of course it wouldn't be one of my um shabby sheet journals without a page from my Laura Ashley book in it um I know it's a yellowy kind of uh, colour, that, but I, I think it'll go. I'll know better when I put it together, but um, it's got like the chintzy pink bouquets all over the the, uh, the fabric pieces. So, um, yeah, I just loved that. It's, it's nothing very exciting on the back, so we will you know, probably cover that. I bought um, a doily and then some of my coffee dyed paper. So that's a smaller, um, it's a bit more than A5, yeah. Not sure what that is. It's bigger than A5 anyway. It's an exercise book um, sheet. A page of coffee dyed 
music paper and two of my coffee dyed pages. I might put another one in, I don't know. I have got some pink coffee dyed actually, I might put one of those in. Um, so what I'm going to do is trim, the, trim those down, stitch some um, lace on them and uh, I'll be back. I'll see you in a minute, a second probably. Okay, and here we have it. I've stitched it. So, um, yeah, I put that through with a little brad and I've stitched the inside uh, lace pieces to make two really lovely um, slot pockets, side pockets. It's got threads all over it, but, um, you know, it's kind of like that anyway. <laughs> it's, a, it's a thready, um, you know, shabby. It's a shabby chic. Um, I put two eyelets in front and back because I didn't know how I wanted to close it um, and I knew once I'd got that in I wouldn't be able to do that so it was my only opportunity so I decided to put two eyelets in and I've just threaded through it some <clears throat> some really thin long grow grain uh, pink ribbon. I can snip it and pull that out if I don't want it and I want lace around it or something like that but it's in there um, and I put double lengths in. I, I was thinking I could also... Um, you know, I could stitch some lace onto that if I just wanted it closing with lace. Yeah, lots of things I could do, but it's through now. So, yeah, I put the um, the brads through um, and I've just left them there inside that. They're not really interfering with anything. Um, I glued it and put brads on so I can have a nice little um, nameplate in there. And I have done the pages. <coughs> As in sewed. That gorgeous so on the um, music paper I put some lovely deep cotton Brode Anglais I've left them all over the edges and, and hanging down the bottom and um, because you know I want I want the frilly edges on the journal so wherever I've put anything on I've kind of gone over the edge top side bottom wherever it is I've also put two extra lines of stitching down there one I went all the way up one I didn't and um, just so that that pocket you know is a nice nice sturdy pocket I've done another one like that where I haven't so um I love this I've been saving this for something special but it just goes so much I think I prefer it that way with that at the bottom yeah it just goes so well with this look this um these papers so yeah that one's going on um, and put that on as a belly band so I've just um done a little um, what is it? Zigzag, that's it. <laughs> Zigzag stitch top and bottom in a line. So that is a, you know, a belly band should we want to put anything inside it or it's just a lovely embellishment if not. Um, I love this, uh, this lace. It is vintage but it's not antique. It is quite an old lace. Um, I've got a full roll of it at the charity shop. It's just, I mean, it's hard and horrible. I wouldn't like it on anything I was going to wear. Uh, on me you know it's really stiff and and what have you it might be better when it's washed I don't know but for journaling it's perfect and I, I just loved the um you know over the topness I guess <laughs> of that one another beautiful lace here that I really loved so I've just put it on as a flip you know just just there for the sake of beauty and nothing else on this one I um just put a strip down the side and then I scrunched some the same lace up on the other side. I folded it to see and again it's hanging at the bottom but I can cut it off if it's too long. Another beautiful lace here. Um, I've kind of put it down as an edge pocket but I've just stitched it top and bottom so it kind of, it can be a, oops, can be a belly band if you like, you know, so you can have things hanging that bit further through. Beautiful. I think that's it. Yep, I found a, a page of the pink that I had this gorgeous, um, what is it called, pixie powders on it. Um, I haven't got many of these left now, so I thought I'd stick that one in. So we've not got many that haven't got anything on them, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, shall we put the papers together and um, sew them in? I think that will probably be it for today's video. Like I say, there will be, there'll be at least two of these a week, maybe, maybe three, till I get it finished. Um, so yeah, let's just fold everything. So I did cut it all to the size of the um, digital papers, which um, I couldn't. I couldn't print them off. Well, I couldn't print them off easily, um, full page. 
um, because I printed them from a PDF. Now I have got them on the on the JPEG, and um, so you can you can print on my printer without any borders at all on a JPEG image. But I then wanted them uh, back to back rather than a single image. I wanted I wanted to print them all so the printer would do them back to back because it kind of does them. You know, keeps them in line and straight and neat and what have you. So, yeah, so there's a lot of waffle there, isn't there? But, um, yeah, so I ended up with, I think I printed them at 105%. So it goes as close to the edge as possible. So I probably ended up with three or four millimetres all the way around, you know, each one that I had to trim off. So not too much. So it's, it is very, very nearly um, A4 um, paper size. <coughs> which will make the pages A5 very nearly. Now I'm folding everything outwards. Do I want it all outwards? Perhaps not, but I do that one. Just because it helped that side pocket. So let's do some in, you know, with a fancy bit inside. And then we'll put them together and sew them in. So I did toy with the idea of putting a, a pink envelope in as well, but I'm not going to. It's um, it, I don't want to make it too big a, a journal. And it is going to be for journaling. So I'm, I'm going to embellish it, make it pretty, but I'm not going to go, you know, loads of pockets. I will do quite a few things clipped in perhaps and um, yeah, plenty of journaling space on it. I don't want that one inside as well. No, I've done it now, so I don't have to fold it the other way. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the kit pages here. And coffee dyed and plain. So those three are like, yeah, different to what have I got? Three of mine. Five, one, two, three from the kit and four of those right um so i definitely want one of the kit ones first which one would i like now i do like to put a label on the first page i think i might have that at the front I quite like that okay so let's go with that one first um i'm gonna go pink just because browser it won't be so bad when they're just individual and they're split up. Let's let's put one of these. Yeah, that's toned it down a bit already, hasn't it? So let's go with another one of these then. Um, let's go with that one. And then I'm thinking music, yeah. And another one of these. I'm thinking I might like this Laura Ashley one. Folded it the wrong way, look, in the middle. And then you get to see the whole image, you know, which is another reason why I didn't want a pink envelope in the middle. So we'll try that in the middle. And I'll probably want, yeah, a plainish one around it because this will be, I'll put something on there. So if that's going to be the middle, have that round there. Um, that one. Yeah, that's got lace both sides. So I was trying to make sure there's lace in the back half as well. Now I probably will also glue some some bits of lace or fabric in. Um, I don't know for certain, but it fits nice in there. Okay, they seem to go together quite easily. <laughs> So let's let's look through and have a look. You see that lovely edge now. Before we do that, let's look at the edge in here. I'm going to have to tie those up, I think, because they're they're really going to be in my way. <laughs> Let me just put a little a little knot in them. Not a tight one, but I did trap them in my drawer <laughs> while I was sewing. I was like, oh, I'm stuck. I'd shut, gone in my drawer for something, and yeah, shut them in it. <laughs> I just didn't want to leave myself too short. Okay, so they won't stay like that. But what I was looking at was the edge, wasn't it? 
yeah i mean it'll it will fill out some more with the bits i'm putting in but we've already got lovely um lacy edge going on there okay so let's have a look what we've got and see what what we like yeah i like that because i will have something here and it is it's not plain but it's you know i'm not covering anything major up when i put whatever i decide in there yep so we've got room here for clip things in our pockets and journaling love that and you can clip things to it journal under it whatever you could always if you wanted it as an uptuck pocket you could always glue it you know when you whoever owns it you could glue it down both sides and it would be a pocket i just thought it was a lovely a lovely flippy piece yep nice really big tall be nice to get a nice big journal card in there such beautiful so the the papers are sort of um dusky pink i would say and there's some like um i want to say purple but they're not really purples they're uh, what violet colors maybe lavender no not lavender yeah violet probably violet and dusky pink um a little bit of peach a little bit of beige and then some of them have got a bit more a bit more pink you know that's going to be lovely to decorate isn't it journaling <clears throat> those are a little bit there are some deeper hints of deep purple not a lot though yeah and then there's one or two really pink which that one is look beautiful but it's a, it, i think it's just a lighter background because it's the same um bouquet there lovely buildings hmm don't know if i like that against that that's the only thing I'm not sure about, so we'll just take that out for now. We'll find somewhere for it, but I don't think I want it there. Obviously, we will do something on there and on there. Lovely. One of my favourite pieces, that. Get some more beautiful pinks. <coughs> so I've got one piece of lace there. I love that image. I'm guessing that's somewhere in Paris, I don't know, with it being Paris Bouquet. Yeah, it's got a lot of lovely laces in it, this one. It's definitely, a, you know, a, for, for somebody who loves the lace trim. I might put, yeah, it, I might need a couple more bits of lace in the back. There is more in the front. It's got that lovely piece there. Yeah, so... What's, what's the other side of that? I wonder if that would go over that. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, prefer that there. Okay, so, I mean, that's the bare bones before I put anything in it. So it's going to thicken up quite a bit, isn't it? So let's, uh, shall we sew it together? I do you know, I feel like I haven't stitched a, um, a journal or bound a journal for ages. What else have I got here? Um, I just found two little... Um, cardboard you know chipboard that's it pieces and this one is uh, violet of france it's a lovely um we can write on it label that's it and then this one honey almond cream which i thought would go nice in it so i'll keep those with it i don't know if i showed you that or not for the front this perfume bottle i thought that would be nice on the front as well so i've got those those chipboard pieces to go on right do i want some clips i don't know where all my big clips are i've got lots of little tiddlers treat myself to some bigger ones I, I i think i do know where they are i use them for putting papers and things together um you know and then they stay on them what are you there oh lace oh yeah i keep lace on the <laughs> on the spool as well so i'm just going to stitch it straight in so i've got this lovely pink let's use the pink so one two three and a tiny bit not a lot i find that's more than enough um i don't lose things i really i'm in an awful mess in my room now i really must get sorted um i'm looking for a needle in here so the gentleman who's uh, doing our boiler is coming oops to um can't think i can't think i'm working at the same time my brain says no just thinking there's a little one of those in there look i'm looking for a not too big a needle these all seem quite big 
There's my smaller ones gone. And I guess that's probably the best one. It's quite sharp, but it'll do. Um, yeah, he's coming on the 21st, I think Neil said, to board out the loft, you know, so they can get in there and do the, the preliminary work, I guess. And um, it's going to flush out this, you know, the system, so flush out the radiators and things before the new boiler. So, yeah, it it'll want to be in my room. <laughs> and good grief, it's not a room for visitors at the minute, let me tell you. Right, are they all kind of in the order I want them in? I think they are. Now, the pages are all the same size, apart from, you know, the unusual ones. But with all the lace and things, top, bottom and side, it's... Um, no, don't connect it to that, connect it to that. You know, it's it's not it's not got a level top or bottom, which is a, a good thing for me. <laughs> because if you know one of them moves around a little bit, are you even gonna reach on that? I think I might have to use some paper clips. Pa paper clips, is that what they are? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, if anything moves around a little bit, it's not too drastic. A little bit, I state, not not a lot, <laughs> um, yeah, because it'll be covered by the lace and what have you. Obviously, we don't want something half an inch or so different to all the others, if we can help it. Remember, there's always something you can do if that's how it ends up. The first thing you can do is pretend that's how you wanted it. <laughs> Other than that, you can trim and you can add on. I think I'll just leave that side stuck and this side not. So I need a an all. There it is. And I've got a big book under here I can lean not lean on, dig into. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to do it by eyeball, as I always do. And I'm starting in the middle, which is where I will finish, because I do want to put lace and things. Am I right through the centre I am? I want to put lace and things on the outside of it. So I do one hole at a time, just so that my papers, in theory, stay stay in the same place <laughs> while I get the thread through. Not always the case. Okay. This one's always the hardest one for me. So I don't know if you can see or not, but it's not too hard to go through because it's a soft cover. And it's a um, a small signature, so I dread to say it while I'm actually doing it, but it shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too tricky to bind. Having said that, some of them just are a walk in the park, and others just don't want to play. Okay, so I'm it's all on signature. You moving yourself? What's up with you? So have your square. I'm just going to go up in the other end now and then back through the middle again. You don't have to do it that way. You could go back through the middle next and then through the end, which um, yeah, I've seen a few people do. In fact, I've had to go once or twice and it works fine. But this is the way I learned, so it just comes naturally to me to do it this way for the uh, for the three hole anyway. Okay, so all I need to do now is get back through that hole. I say all. That's probably the most trickiest thing. And I feel like I'm through. I am. Lovely. Right, now we need to pull this through and see if I've gone through my... Oops. Gone through. No, I haven't. Look, they're both moving individually, so it's gone through and I haven't cut you know, through my, stitch through my own thread, which I often do, lovely. Okay, so you want one either side of that, it just stops it uh, biting into your paper a little bit. Make sure they're nice and firm. Let's give it a couple of knots and then make sure, because I can always undo it at this stage. And then if it's fine, I feel like I'm talking not joined up today. <laughs> if it's fine, I'll tighten it up some more. Oh. If 
feel feel work nice enough so oh you're still getting attached to each other aren't you right let's have a look then yeah i love love the pinkness of it all yep it's got it's uh, stitched together quite tight actually lovely Well, that didn't take long at all, did it? Quite impressed with that. Obviously, I did all the stitching off camera, so that, you know, I've been at it longer than <laughs> than you have. Ah, oh, see that one? We've morphed a bit here. We have moved, so you can see this and that. You can see the step there and there. Oh, no, that one's, that one's the... Uh, Laura Ashley one, but these two have definitely moved about on each other. It's fine. I may add lace there to hide it. I mean, they're all a little bit, they've all stepped about a little bit, so and that would probably, with not having, you know, decent sized ones of those to hold it, off that shiny bit. Yeah, it's going to be fun embellishing this. So I have got some, um, some more digitals of Tina's. I've got some of her tickets and things like that, and some of her pink, um, uh, embellishments and what have you so I will be using using those what I'm going to do is glue this on do I want it that way yeah but that will be the last thing it's a little knot on that let's put it on the inside rather than cut it cut it yeah that's better yeah can't do anything once I've glued it on but shall I shall I glue it on with you here now and then it can be dry and ready for tomorrow can't it so I'm thinking that with this on it somewhere I like the, again, this is a peachy pink and a like a baby pink. So I'm liking the two, the peach pink and the baby pink together. Definitely. And I was thinking this here. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Just have to think what label then. And then I didn't know about whether to have one of these actually on this. But we'll definitely have beads and things on it. Yeah, I might end up with some a cameo or something up there. Okay, so let's glue this on. Um, and I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac. And then it can have a good, good 24 hours to dry. Because, it, mm, I was going to say this is all that's holding it on. I may actually put a couple of stitches here and there. But I'll let, I'll, ooh, goopy. I'll let this dry first and then. So I definitely want some along there. Yeah, I probably will put a couple of stitches in as well. Just put put this on to kind of hold it. I don't have to put too much. Oh, I've collected a thread. Hold it down. Yeah, I might put a little one or two stitches around the edges. You know, the very ends here. So that I'm, I'm not going to have glue sticking out the edge. So I've only glued it in the middle at the moment. And down that, that seam, so that will hold that in as well a bit. The um, the binding. Yeah, I could go a lot heavier with the glue, but I'm not going to. I think probably stitches. Now I could always stitch some tiny beads or buttons round it. I'll decide. That might be nice, or sequins or something like that. So I'm going to let that dry before I put this on it. In fact, I'll let that dry and stitch before I put this on. This is just going to be glued on, but um, I might just do that at the very end so that I'm not constantly pulling on it. Um, yeah, and I'll decide if I want some lace or something behind it as well. Okay, so that's it. It's a short one, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I know you've been waiting to see uh, the, new, the new kit and what I was going to do with it. Um, so tomorrow I'll be back. Um, I'll probably put some more lace. I wanted this on one of the pages and I didn't want to stitch it because it's stretchy. It's elastic. Um, so yeah, I'll be, probably be put in and I love this look. Small lace on, on some of the pages there and um, yeah, we'll start doing some decorating. And I will see you then, hopefully. Okay, thumbs up would be lovely. Um, this kit uh, will be in the description today and then the other bits that I use tomorrow, I'll put those in tomorrow's description for you so you can go straight to them in uh, in tina's stall okay thank you very much have a lovely day and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now